Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. I'm Ian Dixon and we have a new Windows 10 build to look at. And this week it's build 20185 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. I'm here uh, on the road with my Surface Go. I'm calling this with the Surface Earbuds. Okay, so what's changed in this build? Well, there's not a huge amount, but there's some interesting settings on DNS now. And they're making DNS more accessible. So let's go into network settings and have a look. So there you can see you've got the DNS button there and you can edit that. And the other thing is they've enabled um, encrypted DNS over HTTPS, which is for security. You can now configure that in settings rather than having to go into PowerShell. Um, so you can get that by going to your network setting status. So there you can see you've got the option encrypted on there. Or you can fill this in and change this to using encrypted, which is uses HTTPS. The rest of the changes are all fairly minor. There's some ADMX po uh, policies. So if you're doing mobile device ma uh, device management, there's a lot of more policies for controlling it. Um, the blog post goes on about uh, your phone quite a bit, but your phone and apps, but that only works if you've got Samsung devices. I haven't got one of those at the moment, so I can't show you that. So I'll just talk about the rest of the fixes. They've moved, it seems minor, but they've moved the 3D viewer app uh, from here and they've moved it down into, well, they said, the uh, accessories. And there's 3D Viewer. So it was up right at the top, and now it's been sort of demoted <laughs> down to there. Uh, the rest of the issues are all fixes. So they fixed an issue um, with closing windows. They fixed an issue with the icon saying there was no internet. The icon hit down here at the bottom, uh, showing your Wi-Fi, saying there was no internet when there actually was. They fixed an issue with some dragging and dropping from the start menu. They fix some issue with uh, full screen mode, and uh, they fix issues with the open file dialog when you, network folders. They fix some issues with Edge not being listed in the app history, and they fix the issues with ARM64 devices bug checking uh, when resuming from hibernation. There's still some known issues. They're uh, still anti cheats not working correctly with some games. They're still they're looking at the uh, install period hanging. Um, I think this was quick to install. I don't know if it was just me. I wasn't paying attention, but it did seem to install quickly. They fixed some issues with um, uh, the taskbar uh, when pinning for some sites um, for from Edge. They fixed some. Uh, so there's still some issues with taskbar and pinning Edge for applications. There's still some issues with uh, pinning sites. There's still a known issue with Alt Tab, uh, where it sometimes moves the browser window around. But I. Actually, it's working now. I had issues with the alt tab not working correctly, but you can see I've got two edge tabs open there and they show up in alt tab. So that wasn't working on the previous build and now it is. And uh, there's still a known issue with WSL distribution error when you're um, trying to get that working. So that's it for the change of this build. Uh, not a huge amount of changes, but they're continuing these small improvements. Hopefully we'll see some bigger, more exciting stuff coming soon. You can find out more on our YouTube channel on the digitallifestyle.com. And I'm at Isaacson on Twitter.